this is a sort of new video that uh, new idea that I sort of came across when I was giving my sister a reading and figured out that she doesn't know her strongest intuitive gift whereas I know mine it, it I am a what is it claircognizant whereas what the fuck is that? <laughs> language claircognizant is when you have clear knowing so Clair means like clear. So like usually like, you know, like clairvoyance where it's like clear seeing or you have like clear audience where it's like you, you hear things. There's also like, there's other ones that deal with all of the senses. So we're gonna find out what yours is. I'm gonna ask her a series of questions and see which one she most aligns with. I'm gonna keep a pen and paper here to keep track. Okay. Do you dream in color and with vivid images? And you can be more than one, but my strongest is Claire Cognizant. Okay, continuing. So, Amber, do you dream in color and with vivid images? Yeah, I don't dream all the time. Okay. <laughs> you said, yeah, okay. It's the problems in your mind's eye. Visual solutions. Mm -hmm. Like you see problems working themselves out through your mind's eye. Which, if you don't know your mind's eye, is your, your third eye. Your pineal oh, gland. Third eye. Your pineal gland. Do you ever... I literally just see like in my mind. Like, I don't know what the third eye is. Okay. Like, Would I you... see like in my forehead. Like... Oh, you're not going to see it in your forehead. You're just going to... Like... For example... What? I don't know about the third time, honestly. Okay. <laughs> I'll just say. Okay. Uh, do you ever see lights or auras around people when you're speaking to them? No. Okay. Uh, do you ever see things moving in the corner of your eye? No. Okay. Claire audience, which is, you know, the, the ability to hear your higher self and your spirit guides. Um, hear a higher self? Hear your higher self. Everyone has a higher self. Have you ever heard ringing or buzzing sounds around your ears? Yeah, I well, because I did. Uh, Have you ever had a voice clearly direct you to do something and it turned out to be helpful or accurate? No. Okay. Do you hear voices upon waking or going to sleep? No. Okay. Do you sometimes hear music playing in your head? Yeah, I have a song in my head. Clear sentient. This is also another intuitive gift that I have. It's just not as strong as my clear cognizant. Okay. So, first question. Do you get a tingling sensations on your body for no reason? <laughs> okay. Do you feel your emotions very deeply? Can you feel the emotions of others? Like empathy? Yes. Yeah. Do you remember your Myers-Briggs type? Myers-Briggs what? Like how I'm an INFJ? No, I don't know what that is. <laughs> you never took the Myers-Briggs test? I probably have, just I don't know. You weren't like an INFTP? I don't know what those others stand for. <laughs> okay, let's we'll skip that one. Do you know what's the right path to take according to how it feels to you? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere. Okay, here's Claire Cognizant. So, are you very analytical or, think, or thinking oriented? Mm, yeah. Okay. Uh, can you be skeptical? Does your mind often have the final say in things? Yeah. Do you get lots of great ideas seemingly out of nowhere? Yeah. Do you know that things are going to happen ahead of time? Like if I'm psychic or something? That's what Claire Cognizant is, Amber. No. Okay. Um, do you come across as a know-it-all because you always think of an answer to the difficult questions of life? Mm -hmm. Okay. Empathy. This is what Jaisha is. She's an empath. 
Do you know how others are feeling without needing to ask? Yeah. Can you feel tension in the air when there's been an argument? Yeah. Without being told? Do you sometimes feel overwhelmed that there are so many people on earth who are suffering and you wish you could do something about it? I wouldn't say I feel overwhelmed, but yeah, I think about that sometimes. Okay. Do you often, you already said you don't remember your dreams. Not all the time. So would you say, do you often remember your dreams? No. Okay. Do you wake up from dreams feeling like you learned or realized something? No. Okay. Have you ever had a dream where a deceased loved one showed up? Yes. You have? Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, Who showed I think up? I told you. You did? Wait. I don't think you told me. Oh, I can think. Because I told you about who showed up in mine. Did I tell you? Pretty sure I had one when Grandpa showed up. You did? Mm hmm I don't remember. I think we were, it was like all of us, like all Wait, of us. Wait, like mom's us. grandpa? Or? No, 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 dad's grandpa. Um, it was like all seven of us. And I forget what it was, but we had to like leave the house, like this house, and it was like dark outside. And we all had to like get in the car or whatever, but then like mom was like all the parents were there and grandpa was there for some reason, but then they all suddenly like disappeared and there was just all seven of us. And we were getting in a car because we had to leave? Yeah. And we like had to like drive away. Like it was like something bad was going, was happening. We all had to leave. Nothing like bad, but like I guess it was like people were taking over. It was weird. That is a weird dream. You never told me about that <laughs> it dream. Was weird. You never told I me about really that dream. I don't remember it like as like vividly as I did when I woke up, but yeah. You never told me about that dream. But yeah, no. What was it? I had a dream about Grandma, Grandma was Helen, and it was like, the, like uh, she was ironing, and like I knew it was a dream, but I'm just like, where is this dream going? And I remember that day I was also nervous because like I had a test, and so I was like trying to go back to sleep so I could sleep a little bit more before the test. And I remember, like, she, like, kept pointing to the clock, pointing to the clock. And I'm like, why is she telling me? Like, why is she showing me a clock? And then all of a sudden, like, I woke up and I looked at the clock. And I was like, oh, I have to hurry up and get up before I'm late. So I feel, I feel like she was trying to tell me that, like, I need to get up. Like, time to get up. She was, like, leaving or something. She's like, bye, bye. Or was that my dream? Grandma? Yeah. I think it was your dream. I never so had, then a, dream I had a dream about her too. You had a dream about grandma? Yeah. You it, never it told me that. It was a long time ago, though. Like a long, long time ago. You never told me that. And she's like leaving, whatever. And she's like, it was like she was like walking this way, though. But there was like no like room. It was kind of just like a light. What? And she's like, all right, like, bye, bye. And we're like, no, like, don't go. <laughs> It was weird. Wait, I, all, I all up, three like, of us was there? I don't remember if all three of us were there, but I remember it was just like she was like walking away and then she's like, bye, bye, whatever. And I was like, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I like woke up and I was like, dang, go. <laughs> oh, wait, I think you did tell me about that. Yeah, now that I remember. Yeah, that was did, my dream? Yeah, that was your dream. I thought that was your dream for a second. That's why I wasn't no, going to say that was, your... that was my dream, yeah. I had a dream where this kid I went to high school with, he had passed away. And I was, like, really random where, like, I had a dream about him. And, like, we, it was, like, at the high school. And I remember, like, just walking through the doors. No one was there. I was like, why is no one here? And I remember going up. And it was, like, in the art hallway. And he was, like, standing there. And I was just like, oh, like, where's everybody else? And, like, he was not talking. I was just like, what is happening? And so, like, I tried to, like, go up closer to him. And, like, something, like, pulled me back. And like I couldn't like go near him, so I I don't know, but that that was a freaky dream. I remember I woke up like crying, tearing up, because I was just like, what is happening? But yeah. Okay, uh I guess that answers that question. Uh have you ever had a lucid dream or an astral projection experience? I remember Lucid when dream is like when you can't move but you're awake, right? No, that's when you, um, 
What is it called? Sleep oh my paralysis. God. Yeah, that's sleep paralysis. So lucid dream is, is what? When you're in the dream and you can control what's like happening. So like, remember, like I told you about like when I had the dream, I think it was this week where I had the dream where like someone broke into the house and I was the only one in the house. And I remember he had found me and I had stopped it right there. But then the next night I had the same dream, but I was just like, okay, let's just see where this goes. And then Miss Hoy, our neighbor, showed up but like she's not even alive anymore so I was just kind of confused as to why she would be the one to open up her door and like help me and call the police to get this robber out but I don't know that was just a really weird dream I still haven't found the meaning of it so if any of you know the meaning of like seeing a deceased neighbor that you like loved but they help you when your house is getting broke into in a dream let me know, leave a comment, but. So I would say no, I don't remember me being able to control my dream. Like you know that you're in a dream. Well, yeah, then yeah, that happens pretty often. So not all the time you can control it, but you know that you're in a dream. Yeah. Um, like that dream when I told you I had to get braces on my top teeth. Like, <laughs> I knew I was in a dream. I was like, I didn't like want to like get up yet. So I was like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> um, are your dreams rich in interesting symbolism? <laughs> rich in interesting symbolism. I would say my dreams don't make any sense. <laughs> but have you ever like looked it up afterwards and been like, oh, that's what that symbolizes. That totally makes sense. No, I don't really research my dreams like that. Mm, I do. Especially like I had this. Remember, did I tell you about the dream that I had where like there's a mountain lion in the bathroom, and I tried to get you and Cece to come see it, and you were like, "Kalina, what? There's nothing in there." And you went and checked. There was like, "There's nothing in there." I was like, "You guys do not see that." And you were like, "No, no." And I remember like just looking at it, trying to make sure like it doesn't attack, and like I just slowly closed the door on it, and then I woke up. <laughs> No, I do not know. Okay, so now I'm going to add up how many times you said yes, the statements in each category. And in clairvoyance, you answered yes, like, two times, but I gave you half a point because you were like, maybe for one. And then for, that's clear seeing. And then clear audience, which is clear hearing, uh, you got like one point, and then... <laughs> And then for clear sentience, uh, for, which is like clear feeling, uh, you got three points. For uh, clear cognizant, you got four points. For empath, you got three points. And for dream, you got two. So I'd say the clear cognizant, which if you want to find out more about what clear cognizant is, clear cognizant is when intuitive information just pops into your head. Even though you say, it doesn't, from the sounds of it, it does. Okay. Uh, this website that I asked and got these questions from is a website by Anna, I don't know her last name, Anna Psychias. She's, I believe, from like Australia or New Zealand, and I will leave uh, the link to her uh, website in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next video, in my next video, uh, we can do things like ghost stories and paranormal experiences. Leave a comment below if you want to hear about our- I don't know how many ghost stories. You just said that you don't remember your dreams, but you remembered at least like two or three of them. That's not ghosts though, that's just but, my mind. Okay, it doesn't have to be like ghosts, it has to be like anything like paranormal, okay? Like the comp vlog watching the Midnight Man. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Do not request us to do that. Nope. Nope. Okay. So, bye guys, and remember to. You say that though. No. And remember to keep chasing your sunshine. Bye.